95th story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones. A letter to a dying man. Love letters are written. Varieties of letters are written. But all letters are to a dying man. <laughs> Looks like people are dying out again. Because there are people who write and those who are receiving the letters, both are dead people, dead men tell no tales. Let us look at this letter. Basu wrote to the wrote the following letter to one of his disciples who was about to die. The essence of your mind is not born, so it will never die. Essence of your mind is not born, it will never die. When the mind is born according to your materialistic thinking, you have collected waste. Borrowed knowledge. When you collect the borrowed knowledge, then it has to die because the dirt is inside, you have to clean it up. Hence, that is the, what he's trying to tell. The essence of your mind is not born, so it will never die. When you don't borrow, when you don't get attracted, you get attracted because you have not practiced your samskriti, your culture. You have not done your pranayama. Like morning in Rakham school, we take the first saliva, put it into our eyes, drink the first bottle, room temperature water, brush out it, take the finger, press the gums so that the gums become strong, blank gums doesn't bleed, the mouth doesn't stink. Then we rinse the mouth, mm -hmm, 18 times, so you get the stomach pumping. And you do the mouth rinsing, you will not get cold, no cough, no fever. Eye power increases, hearing power increases, brain power increases, every cells and brain start working out. You have done, you have cleansed what has been done by nature. Only cleansing, you do not have to, out of cleansing, you do not have to feed food, anything inside. This is so powerful. It can, Japtak Suraji just gives, you are thinking you have to study something. When you study something, you are studying only to cheat, to backstab, to rob people. <laughs> Everything you see is yellow fever. Essence of mind is not born, so it will never die. Even when you borrow, it will die. That means, some even said, people are walking like dead bodies. You are a dead body when you borrow. Hence, libraries have been created. It is not an existence which is perishable. It, is, it doesn't perish. Yes. If it is perished, if it is perishable, then you can think of the wind which flows through you, through your nose, through your mouth, and still it doesn't carry your dirt. It is not perishable. The sunlight which is falling into the Brahmana Kshatriya, Vaishya Shudra, Brahmin's house more, and Shudra's house less, to the Christian house more, to the Buddhist house less. To the Hindu house more, to the Muslim house less. No, 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 no. The sunlight is the same. It is not existence which is perishable. It cannot perish. It doesn't perish. Then why are you? You are getting perishable because you have added chemicals. It is not organic. You are perishable because you are carrying something in your mind telling that is my wife. And I have to rape her to have a baby. Rape her. I'm not seeking her. I'm not making love. The moment you remove the wife and you just seek and find her, love her, then it is not perishable. It is it's not an existence which is perishable. It's, it is just a beauty. Beauty does not have a death. It is never ending. Yes. Enjoyable, never ending. Satori's enlightenment, orgasmic, everything is an organic, orgasmic experience. It is not an emptiness, which is a mere void. Yes. You think it is emptiness because you are full. You carried full things, so you wanted an opposite. Children have been taught in the school opposites. Please tell me what is the opposite? Black kids, white, up is down. Remove that one, there is no up and down, it is just to rob, to backstab, to not see the truth, to not see the God, to not melt with the existence. 
then you have to study those ones. Otherwise, you are told. It is neither color nor form. Now they are telling, teaching the children varieties of colors. You don't differentiate them with colors. It is just enjoyable. You don't even say enjoyable. It is when you melt. You don't dissect. You don't use dictionary language. Enjoys no pleasure and suffers no pain. It doesn't know the difference between pain and suffering. It enjoys no pleasures. Pleasures are created by you. You said that girl is more pleasurable to make love. Her miniskirt, her jeans is attractive. The boy's beard, her mush is Muscle is attractive. All that is from the dictionary languages. Otherwise, there, there is nothing like a beautiful dress or beautiful muscle. The beauty comes only when you, like a karma you give without expecting any results. You melt with them and then it happens of its own. Yes. You do not have to do anything. Access flows of it, so it strikes with your thinking. I know you are very well. I know you are very ill. Yes. Illness, physical illness is because you now not done it. You are not, you are not nostril blood. You are not done stomach pump. You know. When you eat, you have to do that one like a good Zen student. You're facing that sickness squarely. You may not know exactly who is suffering. But question yourself, what is the essence of this mind? Think only of this. You will need no more. Covet nothing. Your end which is endless is as a snowflake dissolving in the pure air. Your end is endless. When you do any work, when you become a karma yogi, karma yoga means keep doing work without expecting results. You have seen a person and your mind doesn't divide into Brahmana, Shatri, Vaishyas, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, intelligent, non-intelligent, educated, not educated, rich or poor. Then it's a endless, it's as a snowflake dissolving the pure. You will just dissolve into the wind. You will dissolve into the sun. The heat of the sun doesn't make you feel hot. When you are in the hot, with the hot. When you are in the cold, with the cold. When you reach that stage, you are so powerful. Then you don't have to worry whether you live for 10 years, 20 years, or 180 years. The end which is endless is a snow is as a snowflake dissolving the you